Hey, Josh, how you doing? I'm wonderful. How are you? Uh, pretty good, pretty good. Great. Oh, there you go. <laughs> nice, nice to talk to you. Nice to talk to you. You too. Uh, Terrell, Big Gold Belt Media, you know, let's, 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 uh, how's your day going? It's going well, man. You know, we've done a couple of these now, or a, few, a lot of these now, So, uh, but everyone's been so great and wonderful and nice, so I'm, I'm, I'm excited. Well, let me keep that streak going. <laughs> <laughs> Well, look, look, let me just say this. Uh, you you and Alicia absolutely killed it in this show, man. Like, uh, you know, the the level of range and emotion and acting that you that you guys did here was was quite amazing. And like I said before, you, you guys need to be seeing some Emmys by the end of before the end of 2023. Because <laughs> this this is definitely a, a water cooler, you know, every week conversation show where people are going to want to know what happens next, you know, especially with your character. Uh, Clive, man, because he he gets he goes through the most here. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. You know what kind of I can't even imagine. You know what what was kind of your mindset going through this this character Clive? You know so much he's gone through the jail time, and you know just just for being friends with Edwin, you know just yeah. just for trying to be a nice guy. Like what, what what was your mindset here? Just you know after going through all of the the heartache that he had to go through. Yeah, you know I really kind of had to really take things day by day. And I really just like uh, kind of felt my way through everything. You know, it was uh, the uh, the emotional arc and the spiritual arc was so intense and heavy that I really couldn't think too much about it. I just had to kind of jump into the deep end and whatever he was, whatever the scene called for, just trying to honor that and really just play truth of character. Do you know what I mean? Right. Yeah. yeah. Now, uh, your character Clive, man, you know, he holds a lot of resentment and, you know, he, he spends a lot of his life just kind of holding on to things that do you think that like, you know, obviously, you know, you guys all had different parts of the script, you know, y'all had different, no, nobody but you and the certain character knew what the ending was going to be. Yeah. Do, you, do you think at the end of it all, like he he still holds this resentment toward, towards Edwin, like, <clears throat> You know, I think that the the show is a really, for for my part, I really kind of looked at it as a meditation on letting go and forgiveness. Right. You know, and, right. yeah, and that's it's <laughs> it's a real to all of us. You know, we've all had situations that we've had to move on from, or forgive or not forgive uh, ourselves or another person or situation. And so, I think at the end of the show, the real question becomes: Can he move on now? Like, is this is can he get out of this sort of time freeze that he's been in and move on with his right. life? And what will that look like? I, I don't know. The, the, the way Sarah did you in the show, <laughs> I don't know if I would have. I couldn't. Li- I couldn't let it go. <laughs> uh, well, you know, and the, that's another. That's another. That character has her own, you know, life story and her own goals and right. ambitions and wants, and just like everybody does. So, you know, you can't you can't hold it too too much against her. I, you you're right, but at the same time, I feel like that that pressure on Gogo on Clav is it, being put there. It's like 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 Edwin says in the show, just for one night of you know yeah. a mistake you know that happened. Now you're paying for it for the rest of your life, and even yeah. though your your, your character is doing everything, and like I said, <laughs> you, you can see the frustration on your face as, as you're yeah. playing out this role. And, and like I said, you just did an amazing job. Like I was mad for you, man. I was like, <laughs> I don't know if I can watch this next episode. <laughs> you know, like, like where does this go? Oh, thank um, you, man. But like you know, I, I was I was just asking Jaden, how how do you how, what you think about your the, the person that they casted the younger version of you? Do you think it was pretty accurate, or like you, you think it was so far? Yeah, no, I only I only got to spend a little bit of time with them, but I mean, it, it looked pretty spot on when I met him. I was okay. like, you know, I'm very I, I was like I'm very tall, so I was just like looking down. And I was like, <laughs> this is this is this is baby me. I thought it was so cool, you know, and they did they did such a wonderful job and. Uh, the kids are great, and you know they they pulled them. Yeah, they did a great job. No, so, yeah. No, uh, you had you had a couple of scenes in the show where you uh, you, you hit that punching bag a little hard, like you try to get that frustration up. Did you uh, did you actually were you taking like any boxing, like any any, any kind of get your form right for that scene for those scenes at all? Or just, just yeah, so I've never I've never like really boxed before, and so we had a stunt guy come in and kind of just like show me the ropes, and we had done we had done it one way, but it didn't quite feel right, and so the director and the showrunner were just like just go off, just let it look like how it looks, let it be sloppy, let it be messy. And right. that's what they use in the, in the show was just, and all that sweat was real. That was real, real sweat. And so um, 
Yeah, it was that, that, that was a fun scene. Well, Josh, look, I, I really appreciate you. Thank you again for your time. Thank you for talking to me today. Really appreciate you. Thank you, man. It was so nice to meet you. You too.